Hello, my name is Daichi. With my YouTube videos, I like to share some new technologies made for artists. With this video, I like to show a new function inside Photoshop CC called Tree. If you haven't upgraded to Photoshop CC 14.2, then go to Create the Cloud and download uh, Photoshop CC 14.2. So with this function, you can render pretty realistic trees like those. But this is a little bit difficult to find if you don't know it. So let me show you how. Open Photoshop, make new document, and make new layer. Go to Edit, Fill, choose Pattern under Contents. This section shows up. Click on scripted pattern. Then click on tree. Now, if you see tree and picture frame grayed out, then your GPU might not be working. If that happens, go to edit on PC, Photoshop menu on Mac, choose preferences, click on performance. And make sure this checkbox is checked. This is the GPU. If still you can't use that uh, tree and picture frame, then check control panel. Maybe your NVIDIA card or AMD uh, graphics card might not be working. So check their control panels. If still you can't use it, then your GPU might not be strong enough to handle this function. So let's try again. Click on Edit, Fill, Patterns, and Scripted Patterns, and Tree. Then, next to Tree Type, you can choose the tree patterns from Oak Tree to Palm Tree. So click on Oak Tree. Then you can change uh, several parameters like those. Now, some parameters you can see the changes on preview window. Like leaves amount, if you change the leaves amount, you see that uh, preview. But some parameters like light direction, if you change it, the main preview picture doesn't change. But you see the small icon here will change. So now you see where the light is coming from. Camera tilt, same thing. The small icon changes. Now you are seeing the tree from little bit top. If you want to change the color of leaves, click here. Then you can change the color of leaves. I'm going to stick with the default one. Same thing for branches. If you click on flat shading branches or leaves, if you choose that, then uh, you don't see the uh, preview changes, but you see little more flat illustration on the final rendering. Same thing for add noise. If you click on that, you can add little noise on the leaves. For randomized shapes and arrangement, if you uncheck randomized shapes, then now you can change the arrangement. As long as you keep this number same, then you can render identical trees over and over. If you change the number of arrangement, then the shape of leaves and branches will change. So this is the advantage of this script. This is different from clip art. Every time you can change the shape of the tree. If you check randomized shapes, then you don't have to change the arrangement. Every time the tree shapes changes. So click on OK. 
then it takes little time. This is written in JavaScript. Now, if you don't like uh, some part like here, then you can run it again, or if you change the arrangement until you like the shapes. Now, I didn't select any area, but if you have some selections like this, then the program will render the tree on the selection. So let's try different tree. Like this. Let me show you one more thing. If you want to change the shape dynamically, then you can use a path. Let's try palm tree this time. So this is pretty powerful, but you might be wondering how you can use this one for your illustration or your design. One example is like this. If you make uh, uh, architectural illustration, you always need some trees besides your buildings. So with next video, I like to share some ideas that how you can use it for your work. Thank you for watching.